Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 day challenge. This is sort of 8.0, 9.0. I don't know what this is. It's an exciting update. That's what it is. One of the most requested features inside of Command now available for agents to use. And that is now that we have updated our new KW Consumer Experience inside of Command, the ability for you to create a single listing landing page quickly and easily. Let's walk through that together. So we know if we're going to make edits to our website, we're going to be in the consumer applet here on the bottom left hand side, the last applet down. And when doing so, we get the opportunity to click on edit my website. Now, if your screen doesn't look like this, you probably have an upgrade my website or update my website button up here. You're going to want to walk through that experience first. But assuming you've done that, your screen should look like mine. We're going to click on edit my website. We get taken into the editor and you can see we've got a new quick start template, the property landing page template. So if we click on this template, this is going to be a pre-formatted way to feature your listing with very little and yet the opportunity for a whole lot of editing on this page. So the first thing we need to do is choose the featured listing. What is this listing that you want to create a landing page for? So I can search by address or MLS ID, which is pretty cool. That's a new opportunity there. So we're going to go for 6007 Verde Place Lane in Katy, Texas. And we're going to find that listing. There it is. And we're going to choose that listing by clicking on it. And you can see that'll pull up some of the information and start our preview here on the right hand side. Next up, we've got the page title. This is internal only. It doesn't actually affect anything that shows on the page, but this helps you kind of know your pages when you start looking at them inside of the internal applet. So I'm just going to put 6007 Verde Place Lane. Next up, we've got this featured image or video. That's pretty cool, right? By default, it's going to just show the first image that is being pulled in from the MLS. Um, I want to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to add a video as the first thing that the consumer sees on this landing page. So I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to choose custom video. Now I could choose custom image and then upload something from my drive, Dropbox, you know, hard drive, etc. But we're going to go custom video. And in this case, it's going to say, hey, please make sure that the video is in a supported format. We actually have to find the YouTube or Vimeo link before we do this. So we're going to click on the magnifying glass. It's going to take us into our library and down here at the bottom, you can see create new and we want to create a new YouTube URL. So I already have this video uploaded to YouTube. Uh, I'm going to click on new and it's going to give me the opportunity to go find that YouTube URL. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to copy and paste that YouTube URL right there. I'm going to name it 6007 Verde Place Lane New Listing Template Walkthrough so that I have that. And then I'm going to click on Publish. Once I do, we'll now be able to go back. So I'm going to click on this back button and you can see here is that new item I just loaded. So I'm going to click on it. And it's now going to bring in that video as the header of that landing page. So pretty cool opportunity to sort of catch the eye of the consumer right off the bat. If we scroll down a little bit further, you're going to get to five sections for the content that happened below that video or photo that you've loaded. First up, we've got the property landing core details section. I can click on that drop down and see that I've got a property title. If I want the title to show up here above bedrooms and bathrooms, I could. So I could put in 6007, Verde Place Lane, Katy, Texas, 77493. And then when I click off of that box, it's going to show me inside the preview what that looks like there. Next up, I can choose to hide the title. Not sure why I would enter the title and then hide it, but I could. I could choose to hide the category, the price, the address, bedrooms, bathrooms, living area, lot size, description, etc. So you can see all of that can be hidden should you choose to. We're going to go ahead and go to the next section, which is our property landing agent information. Now there's no editing of this information. This all happens below the property information on the screen. So you can see that in this section here. This is all being driven by our marketing profile inside the settings of command. 
So you can access that through the settings menu and then connect settings and then make your changes inside your marketing profile. Next up, we've got the image carousel. This is also not editable. These photos are being pulled directly from the MLS. If there's any uh, issues with the images or you want to reorder them, unfortunately, you would have to reorder them inside the MLS first. Next up, you've got the map view. So this section will basically show where the property is. The only opportunity you have here is to do hide the boundary display lines of the actual neighborhood. So I can choose to hide those display lines or keep those display lines on. <clears throat> so you can see when I keep them on, it zooms in, but when I close it, it actually zooms out a little bit. I actually like this view better, so we're gonna leave that there. Lastly, you've got the contact me form. This is not an editable form, but you'll see that down here at the bottom. Here's all of my information on the contact me form. Now, if you choose to, you could be done at this point. However, you do have the opportunity to add an additional module here at the bottom. If I click on add module, you can see that I've got additional modules that I can drop in. Now for the video timing sake, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I will show you the custom content block. So I can click here. This basically is gonna allow me to then add in a header, right? So uh, this could be uh, something about the property. It could be something about potentially cooperative compensation within correct guidelines. This might be something more about the neighborhood, um, anything I wanted to bring in here. So additional important information goes here, right? And so if I click off, it's gonna show you where that's gonna start showing up. And this is the really important information I wanted to share with you. Then you can bring in custom images. It is required that you have at least one custom image. So I can go in, at this point, we would want to find any of those custom images and or bring in new custom images down here at the bottom. So just for uh, sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one that's been preloaded here. I could come down to the secondary image. We could choose a couple of more. When you have more than one, just a heads up, it'll put one as the primary and then two sort of over to the side. So we'll choose that second one. We'll choose this one as the third one. Let's get a picture of the city maybe. There we go. And then I can make sure that I come up and click on save that draft. You can now see what that screen is gonna look like. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, here's that new custom section, custom module, if you will, the custom content block that I just entered. Maybe I want this block somewhere else. I do have the ability to click and drag, oops, click and drag, and you can see we can reorder any of that information. So maybe I want that below the images and above the map. So there you go, you can see what that looks like, right? Maybe I want my agent information down here at the bottom above contact me, right? So you can reorder each one of these blocks individually of themselves. If you guys check out the description of the video, I'm gonna link an answers article that's been written fully detailing this entire experience. Also how to add some additional modules like a virtual tour, etc. So check that out in the, uh, our, the YouTube video description. You'll have that answers article written by our amazing uh, KWU Paul. Uh, he's the one that keeps us on track and updates all of our answers articles. So thank you, Paul, for all the hard work you always do. But that's it guys, often requested, let's load up a single property landing page. I do have some additional options that I can do underneath the overrides, right? You can go into there and see there's a how-to article right here that literally walks you through all of this um, and some additional content. But that's the basics. If I click on publish, I'm ready to roll. I can go back to my dashboard and I now have this URL ready to share with individuals. And it's down here underneath our property landing page. I can click on that. You've got the URL over here on the side. We click on the URL. There's our brand new landing page ready to roll with the video preloaded, all the content information, the photos, my custom section, the map, my information, and the contact me form. As always, guys, it's great talking to you. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.